Here's the problem. You have to create 20 customized letters, each with a different address and greeting line. And here's the solution. Mail Merge. Mail Merge is the amazingly powerful tool included with Microsoft Word that enables you to create dozens of customized letters, envelopes, mailing labels, and reports, and all sorts of other documents that would normally take you hours. And Mail Merge does all of this with just a few mouse clicks. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use Mail Merge on a Mac. And if you are a Windows fan, no problem. Just click the link in the description below to see the video for Windows PCs. I hope you'll find this information useful. And if so, please take a second to click the subscribe button. In this demonstration, we're going to perform a fairly typical Mail Merge task. We're going to start with two things, a list of a dozen names and addresses and a letter. And we are going to use Mail Merge to, well, merge these two things together to create a dozen customized letters. If you've ever used the Windows version of Microsoft Word, you might have seen a feature called the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. Wizards are wonderful features that can guide you through certain difficult tasks. But in the Mac world, the only wizards are those guys in the Apple Store. And that's okay because we're using a Mac where things are so easy, who needs a wizard? Before we get started, let's make sure we have everything we need. First, we need a list of names and addresses. I'm going to pretend that we are working for a charitable foundation focused on saving teddy bears, and we need to send out letters thanking a list of donors for their recent contribution. This address list is technically called a data source, but we'll just call it an address list. Most people use Excel to create an address list, so that's what we will do. Here's a list of 12 donors, each with their names and addresses, and also their recent contributions. To get a copy of this Excel file, just click on the link in the description below. Because we are using Excel, we have to do a little fancy footwork with zip codes. In some states in the US, the zip code starts with a zero. But Excel thinks the zip code is a number and automatically deletes the leading zero, thinking it is unnecessary. To preserve those leading zeros is to set each zip code with a special format. Just select the cells and in the format menu, click cells and we'll go down here to the special and we choose zip code. There we go. And then click the OK button. Now the zeros come back. Now let's save our file in a special folder called mail merge files. And the name is the same so we can just click the save button. Remember the location. We're going to need it later on. The second thing we need is a letter to send to the people on our address list. Here is a thank you letter already created in Word. It simply thanks the donors for their donations and tells them how great they are. Again, you can download the file by clicking the link in the description below. First thing we will do is set up Microsoft Word. Typically, you only have to do this once. We will zoom in so that everything looks nice and big. Then we'll view the ruler so we can see where we are in the page. And finally, we'll go back to the Home tab and turn on the Show Hide button. This way we can see all the non-printing characters in our document. There, that's much better. Note that the letter is pretty much complete, but there are a few things missing. The first of these is the date of the letter, which is easy to insert. We just click before the first paragraph mark, and we'll click Insert, and then we'll go over here and click on the date. And we'll choose this format right here. And it's a good idea to update automatically. We'll click OK. This gives us today's date. Note that in a month or so, we will probably have new donations and we will want to send the letter out again. When that happens, this date will automatically be adjusted. Now, there are a few other things missing and these will require a little more work. First, there is the inside address, the address of the recipient. Next is a salutation or greeting line. You know, the part that says, Dear Jennifer. And finally, in the first paragraph, there's even some space for the actual amount of the donor's contribution. To insert these items, we must use something special, some mail merge magic. Are you ready? Let's get started with the first step. Naturally, we'll go to the mailings ribbon. And if we want to start mail merge, we'll, we'll click on the button that says start mail merge. Now, there are a number of things we could do with mail merge but we are going to create a letter. So we'll click on letters and that's it. We get a prompt that says select recipients. Hmm. So which button should we click here? Let's try this one here. The one that says select recipients. Okay. Now we can create a new list if we don't already have a list, but we do have a list. We just saw it before. So we'll use an existing list. Remember where our file is located? Yes. We go to mail merge files and there it is right there. Click it and we'll click the open button. 
And it looks like Microsoft Word needs some help to be able to read an Excel file. Hmm. Okay, we'll click the Yes button to get some outside help. And Word is not sure which sheet in the workbook to use. There is only one sheet, so we'll, we'll just click the OK button. Now the prompt says that we can filter our recipients. So we click the button, you guessed it, filter recipients. Now we can filter our list. We can choose a particular state. Say, for example, go down here and choose state. And we'll choose states only equal to Connecticut. So we put in the code CT. And we could do that, but we want to get everybody. So we'll click the clear all button and we'll go back here. Now, in addition to filtering our records, we can also sort them. If we click on the sort records button, we could choose, for example, to sort by zip code. If you sort your mail by the zip code, the post office will give you a discount. But we only have 12 letters, so let's sort it a different way. Let's sort it first by last name and then by first name. Okay, fairly typical sort. We'll click the OK button. Now our recipients are sorted. And now we have another prompt, insert fields. First thing we need to do is fill in the inside address. This is simply the name and address of the recipient of our letter. The inside address goes right below the date, so that is where we will click. Then we click the insert merge field button, and we're going to choose first name. Yes, it looks a little strange. This is a Field. And the double angle brackets indicate that this is a merge field. A field is simply a placeholder that Word will fill in for us. In this case, it tells Word where to put the person's first name. Then we click the insert merge field button again, and you guessed it, how we put in the last name. Hmm, okay, let's see what this looks like. We're going to click on the preview results button, and you can see it looks pretty good, except <laughs> it needs some space there. So we'll just click right between those two names, and we'll insert a space. There we go. Okay, that looks much better. And we can click outside to see what it looks like. Yes, it looks nice. Then we can click on the, we'll turn off the preview results and go back into seeing the codes. Okay, good. Well, we got the name. Let's continue with the address. Here we go. Now the next thing is going to be the street. So we'll click insert merge field and then go street. And we'll hit the enter key again and click on merge field again. And we'll put in city, comma, space, state, space, zip code. There we go. Okay, good. Now Word automatically puts extra space between the paragraphs, which looks a little weird. So let's get rid of that space. I'm going to select these first two lines in the address and then go up to the layout tab and choose to reduce the spacing after the paragraphs from 12.24 points to down to six and then down to zero. There we go. That's much better. Now we need to put in the salutation. Salutation always starts off with dear space. And we'll go up here again, click on the mailings tab, and choose insert merge field, and we'll choose title space and the last name. And because this is a business letter, we're going to end the salutation with a colon. Now we have an extra paragraph mark here. I don't know where that came from. So I'm just going to delete it. And you notice we have one other thing here. We have this space here, which is the space for the donation. So I'm going to select those underscores and go up here and insert another merge field which is the donation field. There we go. So that's it. We have inserted all the different merge fields. Now, let's see what it looks like. We're going to click on the preview results button and you can see, oh, and it looks pretty nice. And if we go up here and click on the button to go to the next record, there we go, there's Barry. And we'll click on the button again. And you can see we can go through all of the results to see and make sure everything's OK. And if you notice, there's something that is not OK, which is down here. We've got two dollar signs. Now, one of those dollar signs came from the original Excel file. So we can't change that. We, we could, but it's, it's easier to change the other one. That's the one in the letter itself. So we can just click right, right after that dollar sign and just choose the delete key. And there we go there. Okay, that looks much better. Now the prompt tells us to finish and merge. Okay, so we look for the button. Here it is over here. Click on the finish and merge. And we have two choices. Now, if we're, we're happy with the results and we're pretty sure it's okay, we can click the print documents button right here. But if you want to just check it over one more time, which is usually a good thing to do, we can click on edit individual documents. This creates a new document. You can see at the top, it says letters one. And if we scroll down, you can see there's the first letter. And you can see there's a section break going on to the next page. And there's our second letter. And another section break in our third letter. And you can see we can go all the way down this and see all the different letters. When we print this out, it will print out the 12 different letters. And we can go through here just to make sure everything looks okay. 
And if we scroll down, down to the last letter, we'll see something very interesting there. Look at that. Laura has donated $12,000 to our cause. That's wonderful. We should do something special for her. So let's modify our letter. So we'll click here. We'll click right before the word donation. And much appreciated. There we go. So it's thank you very much for your much needed and much appreciated donation of $12,000 to our important, important cause. Now that we've checked all the letters, now we can print them. To print out our 12 letters, all we need to do is go up to the file menu and choose print. Now, once we're finished with the letters, we can just close the file. We don't need to save it because we can always create it again. But we do need to save our donation letter. That was the thing we used to create those letters. So we'll go up here and click on File, Save. There we go. A month from now, when we get a new batch of donations, we can simply update the Excel file and open the donation letter again. So that's it. Mail merge on the Mac. Pretty easy, right? In fact, it's so much easier here than on Windows. With just a few minutes work, you now have a dozen customized letters printed. And here's the important part. If your address list were larger, say a thousand addresses, you would now have a thousand letters with barely any additional work. All we need now are some printed envelopes or mailing labels, which can also be done with mail merge. But that's the subject for another video. So that's it. You now know Mail Merge. Personally, I'm a big fan of Mail Merge. It has a few rough edges, but I love how it can save me countless hours of drudgery. I hope you will enjoy using it too. And if you have found this video helpful, please take a second to click the subscribe button. Thanks for doing that. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>